Okay, hey, next board members, um, we are going to our general consent calendar. At this time, board members, if there's any items that you want pulled for, for discussion, um, I'm, I'll look for your hand. Oh, the presenter took control. I lost my participants. There we go. I'm not seeing any hands, so I would be seeking a motion. Um, Chair, board member Earl has a hand. Okay, thank you. Do we have a delay on hands showing up? I, I, I scanned this four times looking for hands. And then, and this happened last month also, but board member Earl. Yes, thank you. I, I have a question, so I'll just ask that it be pulled um, if that's all right. Yes. What, what so it's just one, about? just one item. It's number eight. It's the distribution of carryover provisional POPs funding. And I just okay. said I just five, five point eight. Okay. Is there any other items that need to be pulled? Um, board member Marsh. I'd make a motion that we uh, accept and approve the board meeting and the consent items that were on from the line. Second, sound that. Okay. Getting a lot of feedback, but I believe the motion was to accept the general consent calendar with the exception of 5.8 that's been pulled. Is that correct, Board Member Marsh? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Is there any discussion to the motion? Seeing none, let's vote. The online voting. Welcome, Board Member Cannon. I'm seeing that you joined us a long time ago. Um, Board Member Newell, not not seeing your vote. Board Member Hansen. Board, board member Newell, are you with us? Board, board member Newell? Vice Chair Brittany Cummins, it appears the voting uh, is unanimous to, to accept the consent calendar. Uh, those not voting, we, we do not have board member Scott Nielsen with us, and I, I think we've lost uh, board member Newell. Okay. Motion passes. And staff shoot board member Newell a, a text to see if he's still with us, please. Okay, um, board member Earl, did you have a question? You had a question on 5.8, which is. Was... I, I had a, maybe a, a general question because we would have had, some of these funds would have not been used. Is that where the $50,000 comes in, the, the addition? Just because schools would not have taken probably full advantage of um, the resources in the spring of this last year. So I'm just wondering how that works out and then moving forward this year, or is that contract just one that we, we pay out 
regardless of the usage um, or the, you know, that type of a situation based on our current environment. Is there someone that maybe okay, I'm looking for staff to see if they raise okay. their hand that wants to speak to your question. And I apologize, my I have to scroll up and down. Chair Huntsman. Yes. This is uh, uh, Deputy Diana. Superintendent. Yeah. Deputy okay. Superintendent of Student Achievement. We have uh Kathy Jensen on. It's um and but Inside is going to be speaking to this. Thanks, Kathy. Kathy, will you? Or the tam camera? It's camera. Or camera. Oh. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Good morning. Um, with professional pops, this um, we brought on three groups last year on one-time funding for $200,000 and $150,000 of that money was used and um, allocated to the three groups with $50,000 carryover in case it remained one-time funding. With provisional groups, we want to see them grow in capacity and be able to within a three year time, um, be able to reach the whole state. And the legislature did allocate $200,000 in ongoing funding, but with all new programs that, that funding was cut. Um, in answer to, um, I believe the question was, did services stop when we had a soft closure? Uh, they all the POPs groups continued providing services virtually. And so services did continue. There is a small amount of money that is, uh, I believe one of the provisional groups carried over outside of this $50,000. Okay, does that answer your question? Yeah, if I understand you're right, you're saying that they access to digital materials. If am I understanding you right? So um, those that received funding would have created access for schools. Is is that because most of these are more field trip or arts type of a, um, you know a, a funding? That's where the funding would go. Yes, they made, um, speaking of, um, let's see, there, the three groups are Plan B Theater, uh, UMOCA, which is Utah Museum of Contemporary Art, and NEMA, which is the Nora Eckel Harrison Museum of Art in um, Logan. And uh, Plan B continued programming, made it virtually available to schools and districts, and um, UMOCA continued providing services with, they had everyday art activities that could be accessed by schools and, and teachers, and um, they had uh, their uh, exhibition that they went online with, which is their art truck, and it was, um, teaching about uh, community and different jobs people hold. And uh, NEMA had online resources by way of lesson plans and, and exhibits. Okay, thank you. I appreciate the clarification. So. Okay, thank you. Um, on the consent 5.8 that was pulled was as an actionable item for the distribution of carryover provisional POPs funding. Is there a motion to approve that action? I'll make that motion to approve that action 5.8. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second that, Mark Marsh. Okay. Any 
further discussion on the motion. The motion before the board is to accept under the consent calendar 5.8 distribution of carry carryover provisional funding. Uh, all those in favor, uh, please vote. It appears the voting is unanimous and um, maybe I'll, and the motion carries. Um, Sean Newell is still not connected. I don't know if Jerry or somebody can reach out to him. He's texting, he's trying to get in or log in. I got I get back in. Okay. Thank you. The, the motion carries. Chair Huntsman, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. I got it. Well, thank you. Okay. Did you want to be in on the motion? The motion was um, to um, approve the 5.8 on the consent, the distribution of carryover provisional POX funding. Are you an I or an A? Uh, I'll be an I. Okay, thank you, Board Member Newell. This still passes unanimously. Okay, moving. That concludes all of our general consent 